we can move on to our next segment. Uh, Raw Request. And, oh, man. You know what? My Raw Request... And I, and I think they are going to do it, which is why I'm confident in saying it. Don't oversaturate uh, your Raws with both guest hosts and, and, like, guest GMs. Just keep it to guest GMs until this storyline is resolved. And, I mean, I don't care for guest hosts, but if you're going to resume them, uh, resume them when a new permanent fixture of authority is in place. That's my Raw request. Yeah. Um, I think my Raw request is going to be one of those one-night-only things where it's not like a work on doing this in the future kind of thing. And it's literally just for next raw. Um, because you're doing this whole, uh, anonymous raw GM thing, address the elephant in the room and, and just acknowledge that Hornswoggle is basically our GM next week somehow. Yeah. Perfectly said. I agree with you. I think that's a huge gaping hole. Uh, maybe it's some secret society of people who take turns, you know, taking charge of the computer. I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, just... we are on we are on YouTube here, so I'm going to throw a little bit of a shout out here to Fool Killer 99. If I was using his gimmick, I would throw up a plot hole right now because this is a massive one. Yeah, it's gigantic. It sucks up everything in its path. Uh, so hopefully they get it addressed. I love your role request. I'm going to co-sign on to it, which brings us to our main event segment, 32nd hot seat. So what do you got for me? All right, John, I've been thinking about this and thinking about this and I've, I've, I've struggled a little bit, but I think I want to use this opportunity to plug NXT again. Okay. So, you know, very well that we're going to get Sami Zayn versus Adrian Neville for the NXT championship at NXT takeover or evolution. And for those of you that are still listening, seriously, it's free for the rest of the month. Get the network for free and watch the last three episodes of NXT. And if that doesn't entice you to start watching it regularly, well, then I feel like a failure as a human being. Ah, uh, amen to that, my friend. I, I mean, NXT is the wrestling program. I think that and Lucha Underground that wrestling fans need to be watching. Yeah, and you really give, to here's NXT. the thing. You give Raw three hours of your life every week. Give NXT three hours of your life this one week. Yeah, really. That, that perfectly said. I'm not even going to touch that any further. Um, so what, what really is your question? What are we getting down to here? My question is, what kind of match do you think we're going to get for the NXT Women's Championship and who's going to be in it and who's going to win? And again, what kind of championship do you think we're going to get for the NXT Tag Team Championship and who's going to be in it and who's going to win? You have 30 seconds and your time starts now. Okay, I'm going to do a tight title match uh, first because that's easier. We're getting the Vaude Villains versus Lucha Dragons. That's been established. It's going to be your standard tag team championship match. No Lucha Ascension? Dra uh, beg pardon? No Ascension? No Ascension, no. Absolutely not. Uh, and Lucha Dragons are going to retain. Uh, women's championship match, we're going to get a fatal four-way. Sasha Banks versus Bailey versus Becky Lynch versus Charlotte. And I see, even though I want Sasha Banks to win, I see Bailey picking up the win. After she pins, I'll say Sasha. So those Don't are the you, two matches. I think it's Becky. If, oh, Becky yeah, that, if Becky is in that match and a baby face is winning that match, Becky is the one winning the pin, not Sasha. Uh, well, no, I'm going to stand by Sasha. So, yes, I, I do mean Sasha Banks. Wow. So, okay. Yeah. All right. And if and listen, again, those of you that are listening to this and have no clue who half the people are that we're talking about, it's your mistake that you're missing out on NXT. <laughs> It really is, John. I'm not trying to hold back here because, like, NXT is consistently, like, when I get done watching Raw, if Raw was anything less than phenomenal, and I would even include that in this week because this week was decent and solid but not phenomenal. If Raw was anything but phenomenal, I am looking forward to that. Just NXT is an oasis in the desert that is the current WWE landscape. It really is, guys. I, you're really, I, I'll put it another way because he said, uh, you know, Ashton said, you know, it, it's on you guys. You guys really, I, I don't know how anybody hasn't seen NXT by now. I'm just going to say that you're really doing yourself a disservice if either you haven't seen NXT yet or if you're willfully choosing not to watch it for whatever reason. I, I mean, whatever your case is, resolve it. 
get on with NXT. And it look, if you give it an honest try and you don't like it, that's fine because everybody has their own opinions. But I really believe that if you give an honest try to it, you'll love it. Oh, and, and by the way, I just wanted to throw this out there. The reason that I said the last three episodes of NXT is because NXT has this brilliant thing where they never have all the same talents on their show from one week to the next. They might have like three or four guys on two or maybe three weeks in a row, but everybody gets a break every couple weeks. Like even their champion misses a week every few weeks because they want to keep everybody fresh and really because they don't have enough time to fit everybody on the same show. But the reason they don't have time to fit everybody on the same show is because they have so many characters that they want you to care about that they don't have the time to fit all of them into one show. It's brilliant. It's what WWE needs to learn how to use. And it's just flat out the best hour of professional wrestling that the WWE puts out every single week. I mean, here's my personal challenge to people who have yet to watch NXT. I would definitely embrace Ashton's recommendation. Go back, watch first three episodes. Tell you what, even if you don't want to do the last three episodes, do the last two and then watch it on Thursday. I, I was going to go even further because here's the thing. Big things are happening. And anybody who, who is really a fan of, like, the, the, the independents and is, like, really into the internet wrestling community things like that. I mean, Kevin Steen is coming under the name Kevin Owens. Anybody who isn't familiar with NXT, go back, watch the prior episodes, and, and watch every episode leading up to and including our evolution so you know that you've really embraced the entirety of the roster and you see how they handle the debut of Kevin Steen. After seeing all of that, if you really feel like you don't like NXT or you love it, whatever the case may be, I mean, you'll have your answer because big things are coming. And I think, you know, anybody should really see how that plays out before making a final value judgment. on Right. What and and the reason that I didn't go that far is because I feel like if somebody would just watch the last couple episodes or or just or the last three or the last two and this next coming one, because I feel like you need to watch three consecutive episodes of NXT to really get everybody on the roster in your memory bank. Because if you only watch two in a row, you'll miss out on something. You'll miss out on the vaude villains or you'll miss out on Enzo and big Cass, or there's a very distinct possibility that they might not have the women on for one week or something will be missing. If you only watch two weeks in a row and you'll miss out on something. And it could be the thing that you latch on to most about NXT. Tyler Breeze hasn't been on in a couple of weeks and he is amazing. And he is one of John's favorite guys on NXT. And it's, it's, you need to watch three weeks in a row, whether it's the last three or the last two in the next one. And if that doesn't hook you, I honestly, John, as much as I would love to say, oh yeah, you need to just stick to it and follow it up all the way up until our evolution. That, but if the la if three consecutive episodes of this show does not hook you, then it's probably not going to hook you. Yeah, I, I could concede to that. So it's guys, just that good of a show yeah. consistently. And and really, the last three episodes have involved Prince Devitt's debut on the main on on NXT. Very some true. amazing matches. Tyson Kidd in his prime on NXT. Just really just great stuff all around. Definitely. So do do yourself that favor, guys. There won't be I any mean, just to... last week we had or not last week, but the week before, we had Sami Zayn versus Adrian Neville for the NXT championship. Yeah, and, and what uh was really a, an excellent contest for that title. Uh so yeah, guys, go back, take Ashton's challenge. Go back, watch the last three episodes of NXT, make your own value judgment, and then it is what it is because we know that we tried, and more importantly, that you gave it an honest chance. Yeah. And that's all that we can ask anybody to do. So uh, with that said, since I did answer your 30-second hot seat, is there anything else you want to say about this Raw or anything, or should I close this out? No, this was a fun Raw. It was a solid Raw, like I said. It was solid but not phenomenal, and I wish I could say I was looking forward to next episode, next Raw, but honestly... I'm looking more forward to Lucha Underground and NXT and then ROH on Saturday. And then next Saturday is the new ROH pay-per-view final battle. And that's going to be amazing. And then like two Thursdays after that we have, or no, the, the Thursday following we have NXT or evolution and just, there's so much awesome, better stuff going on than sitting through three hours of anonymous raw GM. Yeah, very true. So with that said, this has been raw. This has been TwitWow, the best 
Wrestling Podcast made for wrestling fans, by wrestling fans, on the web today. I'm John. That's my cohort and commentary, Ashton. Guys, be sure to comment and subscribe on YouTube. I've been loving the feedback that you guys gave us over the weekend with our two Survivor Series videos, you know, preview predictions and live reactions. Keep them coming. We love the feedback. Uh, discuss this on Pweetoff. You know, what did you think of Raw? Who were the standouts? Who were the losers? And we will see you again for our Lucha Underground review, where we will see, if at all, Johnny Mundo has a response for Cueto, and if not him, we'll have to see what Prince Puma has in store while he's waiting in the wings. See you then, guys.